In March, North Dakota's Devil's Lake looks barren and bleak, but don't be misled by appearances. For this 135,000-acre lake provides some of the best fishing for yellow perch in the world. Steve Zippy Dahl knows this. He heads the famous Perch Patrol Guide Service. And he knows, too, that late ice is one of the best times to fish perch. Here on Devil's Lake, the perch fishing's terrific. And our special guest today is a guy who often works with the Perch Patrol, Lauren Saturn of Devil's Lake. Late ice perch coming up just ahead. North Dakota's Devil's Lake, 135,000 acres of terrific fishing, regardless of the season. And it's one of the few places in America where a Vexilar FL8 is probably the most popular addition on a four-wheel drive truck. This is the home of the Perch Patrol Guide Service, a group of the finest perch anglers anywhere, and they're all with us today. As is Lauren Saturn, who frequently assists the Perch Patrol. Lauren lives here in Big Perch Country, Devil's Lake. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah. A nice perch. Those are nice perch. There. I'll get right back down there. My bottom is dancing. That's, I meant my Vexilar. <laughs> Boy, that didn't come out right, did it? My Vexilar bottom is dancing. I think you know what I meant. There's one. Medium. Got him on the Gens worm. The Gens worm is a small jig designed by ice fishing legend Dave Gens. Dave developed this lure for deep water perch, and as he himself describes it, it's a small jig that fishes heavy, and it shows up well on the Vexilar, gets to the bottom quickly. And that's important because of the typical depths that we fish for perch on this lake. 34 foot on my depth finder is where you gotta be. But, uh... I can get into 24, and it's all small fish, real small fish. I mean, from what I've seen, we have good years coming, real good years coming. And uh, the age classes, all the age classes are there from what I've seen this winter. The sheer size of Devil's Lake and the fact that it's grown over the past decade from about 35,000 to 135,000 acres tends to intimidate some anglers and sometimes makes it a little difficult to find the fish. Out in the flats, you have such a vast area. Where are you going to go? I mean, unless you fished it when it was low, you don't know where all the structure and everything is. If you fished it back then, and you know where these little pockets are, you could run right out there right now, and nine times out of ten, you're going to plant yourself right on a walleye hole or a good perch spot. But everything has changed so much in the last 10 years, it's unreal. When I go out and look, I'll look for quarter lines, section lines, or something like that. Back when, and they still do, farmers usually put rock piles on quarter lines or fence lines. And if you can figure it out where it is on a geographical location, you can go out there and you can mark it on your GPS. And you can have it for the rest of your life. That seems to work out really good for me. I really started using the GPS really hard this year. and It's really paid off because everything looks so much the same. And if you don't have a landmark oh, plus a GPS, it seems like Those you can be master. 25, 50 feet off. Yeah. And that's sort of like today. Really if you get more than 75, 100 feet from here, it's a whole different story. Most top ice fishermen agree the Vexilar has made it far easier to find and catch fish. There is another one. Come on up here. Come on. Well, those aren't the big ones, but I'll take those. No, I'm back to the attraction phase, trying to attract one off the bottom. Didn't miss him that time. You 
another medium one, I think. Nice little outfit. It's got a dropper chain on it. When they're biting light, it tends to float into their mouth a little. Nice fish. Boy, it is amazing what fronts do to perch. We, we've been out here most of the day, and until Lauren got on the school of fish, we couldn't get anything to go. But they got to eat sometime, don't they? And for Lauren, the perch seemed to be biting pretty regularly. He continued to fish the green gans worm tipped with maggots very slowly and near the bottom. Lauren would jig aggressively until he saw the fish come in on the vexilar, slowly. Then he'd barely move the jig. That presentation really worked. There we go. Oh, and I got all kinds of other fish up high off the bottom. I want to get this one in and get down to those. We can get back down there in a hurry. Yeah, I got them over here. Yeah, I, I had four or five off, uh, probably a foot off the bottom. Okay, here they come. come there he was. Oh, this one's a little better. Feels a little better anyway. I just felt a little better. Those are still decent perch, though. Well, we're back at Devil's Lake. Late March, and hey, we found the perch. Lauren Saturn, the members of the Perch Patrol, and myself. I'll tell you, if I had to cast a vote for someone who's the best perch fisherman in the world, my vote would go to my dear friend, Dave Tronson. Dave is just blessed with an amazing ability to find the perch, and even on a tough bite, he always seems to be able to catch them. Get a little bite to it now. Good. Jim Legacy is another perch patrol guide who has a unique gift for finding and catching perch. And like Dave Tronson and Zippy Dahl, he farms the rest of the year, but winters, hey, they're reserved for perch fishing. But even though the bite is fairly good, the only aggressive jigging that works is that which is designed to attract the perch. And once they appear on the vexilar, you stop the jigging. Just full of freshwater shrimp. Though this perch bite uh, goes all winter long, there's no question the first and late ice offer the best opportunities, even here on Devil's Lake. You know, I've fished this marvelous lake for almost 15 years, and given a choice, I'd opt for late ice perch fishing, because the fish will usually be in deeper water generally more than 30 feet, and they tend to be a little more tightly schooled. That means you might have to search a little more, but when fish are in deeper water, because the sonar sees so much more of the bottom in deep water, locating them is a bit easier. It seems like out here, late ice has always been a little better. They're in their, in their pre-spawn pattern, they're feeding heavy, and uh, in Devil's Lake, feeding heavy is all winter long for those perch. All they have to do is swim along with their mouth open, and it's full. <laughs> The lake is full of freshwater shrimp, and every one I pulled up today, if I would have squeezed him, I would have got shrimp out. I usually try to fish my birthday, and that's the 3rd of April, so I got the first week in April I try to get out here, but that's usually the end of it for driving and stuff. After that, walking, I've seen excellent walkouts. I mean, unreal, where you can go out, lay a plank down, walk out and fish, and just to have a blast. It's so much fun to go out there and have fish just go absolutely nuts on you. It, it's a feeling you'll never, never forget. There we are. There we are. And I'm coming up. Nothing wrong with that. I tell you, late ice is a fun, fun time to be fishing. North Dakota's Devil's Lake. And uh, there were a lot of tips for you today on late ice fishing, and I hope you wrote them down. Thanks for being with us. I'm Tony Dean.